So a question that's often asked is because mitochondria are central to energy, then if we can make our mitochondria feel better, does this mean that we will have more energy? Now, it actually seems a very simple question, but it's more complicated than you might expect. Now, if we didn't have energy, then our heart would stop beating, our diaphragm would stop working, we'd stop breathing, we would just die. So clearly, even if you're very sick, you still have energy. What it seems to be happening is that it's your perception of your energy levels of how you're feeling is not just how much energy you're stored in your muscle or your heart or your brain, but it's how your brain is receiving or the message it's getting. And it may be that those messages coming back in things like MS, this feeling of lack of energy, it is not necessarily just saying that it's like in a car where the petrol in the tank is running out. There's still plenty of petrol left in an MS patient. You're still taking in sugar and fat. You've still got food to make your energy available. But your body perceives it that you don't have much energy left. So what's going on? Well, we don't really know yet. But it's likely that if the mitochondria aren't functioning well, it's not just they can't supply enough energy. Because like I said, if they, if they were at that level, then you'd probably be dead. It's more likely that the body is going into some kind of response mode saying there's some problem. We need to feed, send back a signal to the brain of fatigue, saying that we ought to stop doing this. We're going to damage ourselves, we're going to damage our body. We need to rest, we need to hide away. And just like the feeling that you get when you're sick, if you're very ill, you feel like you want to just lie down and sit in a quiet place, you have no energy. But a person with the flu or something like that still has just as much energy in the mitochondria, but they feel terrible. This must be a way that your body is repurposing itself to rest, to give your immune system a chance to recover is one possibility. So what's happening is not just that the mitochondria are working better or worse, which may be occurring, but that their sensing of what's going on is being perturbed. And that's a very intriguing area that we're just beginning to understand. So so it's a complicated answer, but it, even if you feel that you've got more energy, it won't necessarily be that you, the mitochondria is suddenly working 10 times better in the sense of making more energy available. It's more likely that the signals they're sending through the cells back to the brain are being altered. Just like if you have a flu or a cold, you feel terrible. The next day you get up, cold is gone, you feel full of energy. There's no big change in the energy stores in your body between being sick and being healthy, but your perception of that is very different. And that could be because the immune system, which responds to infections and is maybe being triggered in a bad way in MS and other things like chronic fatigue syndrome, gives the body the message that we're running out of energy or that we need to just take it easy for various reasons. So we're just beginning to understand some of these processes.